And with the conversation lately being all about schools reopening, how are students feeling about all of this? It's a perspective that is most important in this process. And tonight, two on your sides, Jackie Roberts had a candid conversation with three local students about it all. No student is the same, and that's reflective in the way they're thinking about back to school season in the age of coronavirus. I would really like to be able to see my friends again. Nothing about this year is going to be normal, so I do expect, you know, a lot of flexibility. My main hope is that all of these plans for reopening can actually be carried out successfully. All three students I spoke with are heading into their senior year. Sam goes to City Honors and says he's a fan of the hybrid learning model. Jamal goes to Cleveland Hill and wants to see full in-person learning with proper safety precautions. Emma goes to Park School of Buffalo. She believes each option has pros and cons. Knowing that you know, going back to school in person, there's a possibility that any one of us could contract it, um, even bring it home to our families. But a remote learning model means even less interaction with others. That's something all three students mentioned. I'm a really a social person. You know, I really, um, that's really the um, only part of, you know, my school, like I enjoy the socialization with um, a lot of my friends and the staff members there too. So that's been um, extremely tough. This academic year, Emma wants to see additional resources to address social and emotional needs. I think not being able to see our friends, you know, in school, at least in the way that we're used to, is going to have, you know, a significant emotional strain. There's also the question of typical end of high school milestones like prom and graduation. I don't know what prom's going to look like, but I think. I would really, I think the most important thing is that it's safe. And as districts continue to fine tune their reopening plans, they hope the students' perspective is listened to. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.